as they will be doing a ceremonial puck drop right now. There you see RIT President Bill Dessler. Rochester General Hospital Breast Center, Dr. Lori Medeiros, along with Vicki Decker Griffin from Zaytown, Alabama. Hartley trying to set it up in front. Here's Kolovec. All sorts of time. The rebound put back by Hartley. Nobody cleared Adam Hartley in front, and the Tigers go up one to nothing. Boy, you just explained it, Gino. I mean, Hartley just kind of just claimed residency right there. Of course, the downtown game next year already announced. <laughs> the Nittany Lions of Penn State. John, I, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to have to sit you down and <laughs> keep you under control for that game. I'm Johnny Objective. Johnny Professional. It's a shot, to... and it goes in off the short side. The Tigers as they get back to even strength. Matt Garbowski with the goal, his seventh of the season. RIT leads 2-0. Here's Parker. Down low to Beck. 55 remaining in the Spivak penalty. Knocked down in front, Manalora gloved out of the air and in. And they're going to count it. Count it for Canisius. Scott Mosier with the goal. And the crowd here is livid. We'll have to take another look. That was gloved out of the air originally, but the question is, how did it get in the net? Good point. We'll get a look at it here. And Shane wasn't happy with it either. Not happy with the call. As we get a look here, there the puck goes way up. See, I don't know if, Mo if anybody touches it after Mosier knocked it out of the air. He brings it down with his glove. He brings it down, knocks it down with his glove. Let's see who gets a stick on it. Goes off of Manalora. Okay, it does go off the stick of Mosier in Mosier. the end. Yep, that good call. Count it. Count it. Good call. Big kick saved by Manalora, and the rebound put in. Gibbons, his 11th of the season, and the Gris have tied it at two. But Gibbons in the right place at the right time. The pad save, or the kick save, I should say, by Shane. And that thing went off his pad and it went right back, right up the middle. Halt again. We'll chip it back. Cameron Burr with lots of time sends it down low. In front, deflected. Is it in? Yes! The deflection in front. Noise! Three to two on the power play. The Tigers go ahead. Great timing by Noise, who kind of snuck in from that backside. And good timing there with the shot and with Noise timing it perfectly. As the team switch sides, we begin the third period here tonight at the sold out Frankfurt Arena on the campus of the Rochester Institute of Technology. Tigers in front, and a goal! In front, McGowan! Just like that, 15 seconds into the period, the Tigers lead 4 to 2. So key penalty kill here for the RIT Tigers in a 4-2 lead. Goes right through the wickets of Jesse trying to recover. And here's an opportunity for the RIT Tigers. Coming up the ice. Quick shot and a goal! Tigers 5-2. Noise with a great move. He's had a sensational game tonight. The Tigers will come away with it. Kornakia getting knocked down in the blue line. Here's Rowe coming up with it. Rowe over the blue line. We'll leave it back to McKellar. Here's Larson, the quick shot, and it's goal. Carl Larson has cut it to 5-3, to three, and Canisius just with a little breath of life here. Show a lot of fight. Still have a little fight in them. That was a blast. Yeah, that Niagara score holds up. Tigers go to bed tonight, time for first. Back in the standings while leaping ahead of Mercy. And there's your final score tonight. And now, right at the whistle, some extra chatting, but now cooler heads will prevail. And the RIT Tigers tonight, 5-3 to three over Canisius. And it was a good win. Uh, more importantly, they get the four points, played a fantastic third period. So they finish strong, get the sweep, and could find themselves back in first place at the end of the night.